Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you a very beautiful waltz called Josephine's Waltz. <laughs> This tune was a request from Caitlin Johnson and Caitlin I have to admit I'd never heard this tune until you asked for it and I looked it up and it's a real beauty. It was written by Roger Talroth from the Swedish group Varsen uh, but it's now spread far beyond Sweden and is commonly played uh, both in the Celtic and the American uh, traditions. Um, Dervish on their album The End of the Day played this um, tune along with Varsen in the key of F. Um, it was then, I think, uh, recorded by Alistair Fraser and Natalie Haas and they did it in G on their album uh, Fire and Grace and um, Natalie McMaster did it again in the key of G and I think um, in Celtic and American music it is now mostly played in G which is a better fiddle key um, I'm going to give you the basic melody, I'm going to give you the melody with some ornamentation and I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to hint at a twin fiddle part uh, at the end. Just a word about the spelling of this tune. Um, if you look at uh, half a dozen videos you'll find half a dozen different spellings. Mainly because the original uh, title was um, Josephine's Dobwaltz. And Josephine is J O H E S E F I N and Dopvaltz, D O P V A L S. Um, so there's plenty of uh, scope for misspelling there, as I probably just did. And um, you will also see it written in the um, British way of, of spelling Josephine um, and everything in between, really. <laughs> So uh, what I've given you is what I think is the most common spelling, but uh, I could well be wrong. Uh, Roger Talroth wrote this for his niece's christening and um, it's now also commonly played at weddings uh, as the bride is walking down the aisle. It really is the perfect tune for that. It's very emotional and very stately. So let me start off by giving you the basic melody, uh, which is pretty simple. One, two, three. <laughs> So you've got a 16 bar repeated A section, an 8 bar repeated B section and a C section of 8 bars which is not repeated. Now uh, let me just play th through that with the backing.
Now to ornament that, um, we can put in kind of Irish ornamentation, um, either double cuts or single cuts mostly. And uh, I do have a video about uh, cuts. A single cut is when you put one ornament note before the melody note, like like that. A double cut is when you have two uh, ornament notes, like that, or that kind of thing. And there's also quite a lot of room for drones here. And also for uh, double stops to thicken out the harmony. So I'm really doing a mixture of the two, whichever is more appropriate and easier than either do a drone or a double stop or don't do either. Uh, let me go through this with the ornaments that I've written and the double stops and drones that I haven't written uh, and we'll do this with the backing. Varsen version or the first part of the Dervish version, version, then you'll hear some Swedish ornamentation. And this, I have to freely admit, is not something that I'm master of. But the, the one ornament that I do know is the... Um, you flick onto the next note down and back up to it. Swedish feel then that's the beginnings of an idea of what you might do. Uh, the second part of this in particular really calls out for a harmony and um, you can add some of this harmony yourself but if you listen to the Alistair Fraser and Natalie Haas version then uh, they have a really nice second part and I'm going to play you out with me playing the melody with the, the twin part in the background. And uh, just as a teaser, I will tell you that the, this twin part is available on my Patreon page to all of those who uh, want to fork out some money for the pleasure of my company. Um, so uh, if you really want to hear the, the twin part properly and play it, then uh, check that out. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. I will happily send you a copy of The Dots and um, if you subscribe and send me an email and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.